Now the construction and working principle of shaded pole type induction relay. Shaded pole type induction relay consists of an operating coil which is fed by the system current. So this is the operating coil. This is the operating coil. It has a disc which is free to rotate in a near gap of a C-shaped electromagnet. So this is the disc and this is the C-shaped electromagnet. This is the disc. This is the C-shaped electromagnet. And this electromagnet is normally made of aluminium so as to have low inertia and therefore due to having low inertia it needs less deflecting torque for its movement. And the shape of this disc usually is spiral shape as it can compensate against varying restraining torque of the control spring. Since the shape of disc is not perfectly circular, suitable balance weight is provided on the part of the disc which has less smaller area. Half of the east pole of C-shaped magnet is surrounded by a copper band, you can see from the figure, or copper ring which is known as shading ring. So this is the shading ring, this is the shading ring. So half of the east pole of electromagnet, so this pole as well as this pole, half of this pole, half of this pole is surrounded by copper band or copper ring and this is called the shading ring. Two different flux is needed to generate torque in disc as we have discussed in the previous lectures. So this shaded pole is used to create phase difference between two fluxes and shading portion flux always lag the unshaded portion flux. Also, there is a control spring which provides restraining torque to aluminum disc. When there is no flowing of current through the current coil, control spring keeps aluminum disc at its reset position. Now, how the torque is produced? on the disc in the shaded pole type induction relay. As you can see here, when supply current is provided, coil is energized and total flux, let's assume, phi is produced. And this flux phi is split into two fluxes, one for shaded portion and another for unshaded portion. So this is unshaded portion, this is shaded portion. So this is how flux is split into two fluxes for shaded and unshaded portion. Consider phi s is the flux in shaded portion. So this is phi s and phi u is the flux in unshaded portion. This is phi u. This is phi s. Now, ES is the EMF which is induced in the disk due to flux phi s. Similarly, EU is the EMF which is induced in the disk due to flux phi u. And due to EMF, ES, AD current IS is induced in the disk. Similarly, Due to EMF EU, AD current IU is induced in the disk. So let us assume alpha is the angle between unshaded and shaded flux, and phi is the total flux. So the angle between ES and phi S is 90 degree. Similarly, the angle between EU and phi U is 90 degree and IS lacks EMF by beta. Similarly, IU lacks EMF by beta. 
right now we will see how the force is generated on the disk as we have already discussed in the working principle of induction relay that due to the interaction of flux and eddy current force is generated here there are two flux and two eddy currents so two forces generated on the disk now let us assume the operating force or torque fu is produced due to the interaction of phi u and is similarly another operating torque or operating force fs is produced due to the interaction of phi s with i u now what will be the net operating torque or net driving torque so net operating force or driving torque acting on the disk is proportional to the difference between two forces as we have already discussed in the operating principle of induction type relay so f which is the net force or driving torque proportional to fu minus fs why fu minus fs as we have seen flux phi u leads phi s therefore fu will be greater than fs so we can write phi u i s minus phi s i u from here we can write phi s phi u sin alpha how this comes we have already discussed in the operating principle of induction type relay so how this f proportional to phi s multiplied by phi u multiplied by sin alpha come we have already discussed in the previous lecture so from here we can write f proportional to square of current i sin alpha why square of current i because phi s is proportional to i similarly phi u is also proportional to i because phi s and phi u both flux are produced due to current i so from here we can say the driving torque or operating force varies as the square of the current flowing through the relay coil so this is how in shaded pole type induction relay force is created on the disk and due to this force the moving contact will connect with the fixed contact and therefore the trip circuit will be energized and due to the energized of trip circuit the moving contact of circuit breaker will be opened will be separated from the fixed contact and therefore the faulty section will be isolated from the healthy section in the power system.